Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 15, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome. So Let's start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US, US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite nicely today. We are basically testing these previous highs here of 1370. If we break above that, then we're heading significantly higher. We're probably going to 1380 uh, is our next target. That is roughly 0.7% or 114 pips uh, to the upside. So the 40 and the 50 at our major support levels so if you fall towards the 40 or the, and the 50 that is basically your uh, buy-in for this currency pair if you look at technical indicators they are uh, very bullish at this current point macd is going to cross the signal line the rsi is very flat the cci is bullish the stochastic is bullish at but this is basically the warning for this currency pair we are basically at the top of the bullish band we could cross it but this only means that we're going to pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average um, or pull back fairly around half of this gain. So around 1360, that is where uh, people will start buy buying in. If we get all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average, then there will be a lot of buying in. So that's right in the middle of the Bollinger Band. But at this point, no interest about in shorting this. This is the buying every single pullback. So let's look at the US uh, yen. And as you can see, we are basically setting up for a fall towards these previous lows. So 102.567, that is basically our target at this current stage. We fell um, on, uh, on Tuesday, rallied on, the, on Wednesday, and today again, we have basically broken it down. We, had, we are trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. If that breaks, then these lows are where we are going. It'll probably take a few days. It's not going to happen all at once. We're not going to see a similar candlestick like this. We're probably going to see gradual decline towards 102. That is most likely where we are going. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. Stochastic is very negative. CCI is becoming negative. Um, RSI is flat at this point and the MACD is turning around here. We can see that we were outside of the Bollinger Band and now we're heading back towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So at this point, it is definitely a sell. If we pull back, then it's additional sell. Basically, the closer we get to the 100 moving average, uh, the uh, better the opportunity basically to sell this. So Euro US dollar, this has been a really tricky one today. Um, it fell below the 50 moving average, which I did not expect. But it did fall below the 50 moving average and then it rallied again. Question is whether or not we continue to see this uh, gradual grind to the downside or sideways or if we are ready to rally from here. US dollar is showing signs of weakness again. So that could be an indication that we are about ready to rally from here. So the target would be these previous highs. That's roughly 1.68 or one point roughly 1.6%. Uh, so it's a fairly big uh, trade to the upside. But other technical indicators have not turned it down around yet. So MACD is still bearish, the RSI is still bearish. We're on the edge of being oversold. CCI is bearish, Stochastic is turning around here, and we have touched the bottom of the bullish band. So this is probably the only real indication that we are about to, to turn around here and this pullback. So, so at this point, this is a plausible trade. I have no interest basically shorting this. It is basically, I'm betting that we are going to go rallying towards these previous highs. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, as you can see, we have rallied again towards these highs. And at this point, we technically need a pullback. Um, I don't think that we are going to rally above these previous highs with an RSI that's at 67. I just don't see that is going to be the case. Um, if we do, then we see a rally and then this has to become support and not resistant. So 
pay attention to that. Um, no interest in basically entering this at this point, neither with a buy or a sell. If we pull back towards the 20 exponential, then yes, that is possible to, to buy in there. Or if we rally above this and this um, previous highs become supportive, then it's also a signal that we are most likely going to go significantly higher. So next target, long-term target, is probably 0 0.80. That's all the way up here, and that's 2.8% to the upside. And if you look at how gradually we've gone to the upside, it'll probably take a month or a month or two in order to get to those levels. Technical indicators are looking, they're mixed. Uh, MACD is flat, the RSI is flat, the CCI is bullish, and Stochastic is bullish, and we're clo getting close to the top of the Bollinger Band. So let's look at the uh, US dollar, the Canadian dollar. We have hit our target here, which we set, and uh, we're probably, from now on, if this breaks, probably going to go lower. However, we are very close of being, uh, to be oversold at this point. We're also getting very close to the uh, bottom of the Bollinger Band. So a pullback from this point towards the 20 around this area, that would make sense. And then we could go even lower from here. This is a uh, currency period that has been uh, trending downwards for a really long time. The 40 and the 50 have been major resistant levels. And um, every single time we get close to them, it is a possible sell. I have no interest in basically buying this as we are basically in a downtrend. And yes, the better the more we, this rallies, the better the sell. But at this point, I think that we're going to see if we go lower from here, um, that is fairly like, uh, unlikely at this point. I think I would bet that we would go um, towards the 20 exponential before we continue downwards. Technical indicators are, are bearish, but uh, they are. this is very overstretched at this point. We are almost oversold. We are at the bottom here in the Bollinger Band, so pull back towards the middle. That would make more sense, and that is basically your entry for a sell to even further. So this will probably go uh, additional if we go for the um, 20 exponential. So we're heading towards 12.56, uh, or give or take around that area before we go higher. So we can see that this has been um, well, trending in a very similar way. So rally, pull back, uh, uh, rally, pull back, rally, pull back, and so on and so on. So um, yes, at this point, I would wait until it basically rallies again in order to sell it again, because we are going much lower in this currency pair. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to the CR. Newest videos, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.